We have the biblical teachings in social media platform such as YouTube, New Hope English, Instagram, New Hick, TikTok, New Hope International, or Facebook, New Hope International. May the Lord bless you. I'm so glad that we can come together in this teaching, and I believe that the Lord will speak to you. And may the Lord really help you to understand His truth, and His people. Like you will be strengthened because you know the truth. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. Greeting from Mount Vernon in Washington, in the north part of Washington, and I am at Rosengard Garden. When I look at the beautiful tulip field here, I know that there must be the very wise Creator. He created. The beautiful universe, the beautiful earth, and all the flowers. I love him so much, and he loves us first. It's so great to know that the Creator of the world, the Creator of the heaven and earth, really loves us so much. I would like to encourage you by reading the Word of God and explaining to you what God wants to say to you. Let us pray, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you will speak to us by your Holy Spirit. Your word is so precious, and we want to receive your word into our heart and mix it with faith. And we're gonna be the doer of the word of God. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Jonah chapter three verse four say, "On the day Jonah entered the city, he shouted to the crowds, 'Forty days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed.'" God told the prophet Jonah to tell the people of Nineveh that in 40 days he was going to destroy their wicked city. God put a time period on it. He was saying, "You have 40 days to get your lives right." He did not say, "Whenever you feel like repenting, it is okay. Just as as long as you do it one of these days." When Jonah told the people, they and their king immediately confessed their sorrow and declared a fast of repentance. They did not wait a week or 20 days, and God spared the city by His grace. We need to know that there is a moment that we need to make the important decision in our life, and one of the most decision that we can make in our life is to be reconciled to God. Repent of our sin and do what is right in His eyes. God said that He will bless the righteous. He will really give the blessing to those who obey Him. Second Peter chapter three verse nine: The Lord is not really being slow about His promise, as some people think. No, He is being patient for your sake. He does not want anyone to be destroyed, but wants everyone to repent. In order to Come into relationship with God. We need to do two important basic things. Number one, we admit that we are sinners by our human nature. We have sinned against God, and we must repent of our sin. Repentance is a lifestyle; it's not just a one-time thing. Number two, we believe and confess that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, came into the world to bear our sin. Punishment, death, curses, sickness, poverty, and all the consequences of sin on his body on the cross, and he paid for us. He died on the cross on our behalf, and we believe and accept him into our heart. When we realize that we should not wait, we should repent right away and give our life to the Lord. Is there something you could change in the next 40 days, and you would see God's favor in a new way? Maybe God is saying you have this much time to get your priorities in order, to forgive that person, or to get serious about your relationship with me. Oh, now you need to take serious about going to church, reading the Bible, and serving Him. God give you the timeline. I don't know what it is for you. But there is a window of grace that does not last forever. Again, I want to emphasize one more time: there is a window of grace that does not last forever. It comes with a time limitation. Don't miss your moment. Be quick to obey. Be quick to repent. Be quick to turn to God. 
God has His timing in what He will do. What does the Bible say about God's timing? The Bible talks about God's timing too. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. Appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. God has His timing. So when He warns us, He tells us to do something, we should not wait too long because He has the time limit for us to obey Him. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 also talk about time. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11, Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. God has His timing. Sometimes He speaks to us, Hey, forgive that person. Hey, get your life right before me. Repent. Don't cheat me anymore. Serve me. Give me what belongs to me. He warned you to the Word by the Holy Spirit. In fact, when the Holy Spirit touched me or when I read the Word of God, God corrected me many things in my life, corrected my bad attitude, motive, and behavior. Sometimes God corrected my wrong doctrine, so I need to repent right away. We should keep doing the right thing in God's sight and repent easily. At the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. We need to repent as soon as possible. And what happened when we obey Him? He promised the blessing. Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 say, So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, again, right time, God has His timing. We will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So at the right time, we should receive the blessing. In His timing, we should repent and turn to Him. We should not miss the moment, the right timing. We should repent right away. Psalm 37 verse 7, Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for Him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. The Bible says, wait on the Lord. He has His timing to bless us, to open the right door for us, to bring the right people to our life. But at the same time, He has timing for us too, to repent and to say sorry to Him and to obey Him and turn to Him. God has His timing all the time. So we need to be quick to respond to Him and be patient to wait for His blessing and the fulfillment of His promises. Lamentation chapter 3, 25 to 26. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul who seeks Him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. We should respond to God's warning, God's word, direction for our life as soon as possible because He has His timing for us as well to repent. And at the same time, we should wait for the timing of God that He can bless us and He will open the right door for us. We should live this way. We should think this way. We should have this mentality. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him. We will not rush God to do anything. We just keep doing the right thing, keep repenting, keep obeying Him. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 16, making the best use of the time because the day are evil. Again, the Bible talks again and again about the time. His timing for us to repent. His timing to fulfill His promises. His timing to bless us. And we should use our time the best we can in an excellent way to give glory to Him. We should not do evil things. The time is valuable and we have limited time on this earth. So let us use our time correctly according to the Word and by the leading of the Holy Spirit. In conclusion, in this teaching, we learn that time is valuable and God has His timing. So when God warns us of any wrong thing in our life that we need to change and repent, we should change and repent right away. 
and why we are waiting for the timing of God at His timing to bless us, open the right door for us and give us favor, why we are waiting for His timing to bless us. We should keep doing good things for His kingdom, doing the right thing and walking by faith until the timing of promotion, opening the right door or divine connection come to us. Let us pray together that we will not miss the moment of our life to repent and we will not miss the blessing of God in His timing. Let us pray. Father, thank you for how you speak to our heart, for giving us windows of grace that help us change and see your favor in new ways, in your timing. Help us to be sensitive to your still small voice and hear any alarms, promptings and suggestions and to be quick to obey. And we, Lord, will respond to your warning, to your word, Lord. We will repent as soon as possible, and we're gonna wait for your blessing at your timing as well. We will wait patiently on you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We don't want to miss any moment of great success and great favor from you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I believe that from now on, you will be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit, to the Word of God and His warning words, just like the people in the city of Nineveh. God bless you. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in other teachings. Thank you again for listening to the whole teaching. And I would like to encourage you that faith is so important. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 7, your faith being much more precious than gold. Therefore, you are receiving the Word of God to build something in your life that is more precious than gold. And you're going to go out by faith to walk a life that will be full of victory, full of success, prosperity, and you shall be the blessing to the nations. I believe that God will go with you, go before you, and His grace shall come upon you. May the Lord bless you super abundantly. God poured His fire on the day of Pentecost. And He still opened heaven to pour out His fire in our generation. May the fire of the Lord burn on the inside of you. Brings revival into your life. Send you out to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. May He use you to be a carrier of the fire of revival. May the Lord anoint you. May the fire of God burn every day on the inside of you. And the Lord will be glorified through you. May the grace of God work in your life and you become fruitful and you will have many rewards in heaven. May the Lord get the glory through your life.